Hello my dear friends, today we are going to see AC750 wireless dual band 4G LTE router. And today we are going to unbox this device and we are going to configure uh, this device. We are going to set the username password, new username password. And there is many options and let us see what are the options available in this device let us open this box Now I'm going to open the whole cover. Just I use this knife to open only this side. This is the device before that we will see the manual sheets. This is the SIM card slot. There is two types of slots, I think so. Yeah, uh, there is one is mini and one is micro. There are both. And this is the manual sheet. It's written in Arabic. And this is the two aerial. This is the cable to configure this device you can connect to the computer or uh, for another ADSL modem. This is the power supply. Let us see the device. And this is the device. I'll make it clear. This is the model and power volt, 12 volt, 1 ampere, and this wireless password is written here. Ah, don't shake, don't shake. Wireless password is there. Model number is there. This this will support 2.4 and 5G. This is a four out slot, power power socket, power switch on button, aerial socket. This is the SIM card socket. This is a web and reset option, Wi-Fi on and off. When we are using this as a router, we are not going to insert any SIM card. We are connecting one end of the wire here and another end of the wire with the ADSL. And uh, this is the device. We are going. We will fix this aerial like this both the ends like this like this this is how we are going to place the device and we are we and we will configure this device as router let us see now we connected the modem with with my computer and, and before that i want to show you at this place i have connected in this in this you can see lan 1 lan 2 lan 3 and lan and web in this LAN 2, I have connected the RG45 Ethernet cable. RG45 is the jack, and Ethernet Ethernet cable I connected to my computer into the Ethernet port. 
now I'm going to type tp link modem dot net and enter now it's the login page login page is arrived I'm going to type the password admin again admin this is the default login password so never and this is the stage we are not going to use the sim card we are just going, going to use as a router and now let me close the screen and this is the quick setups please insert the sim card and as i said you we are not going to enter any uh, sim card uh, we are not going to use any sim cards so let us see the what is the options here is the advanced and here is the logout and here is reboot and this operation mode this 3g and 4g router mode and we are going to use this in wireless router mode and i'm going to save this one and change will not take effect until the router reboots are you sure to continue I'm selecting the option yes so now the device is rebooting let us wait for this device to reboot it will not take long time i think so this video is clear yep. Let me pause some time to complete that rebooting process. So now it's completed. Again, I'm going to log in again, and I'm typing the password same admin. So now the login page is arrived. The quick setup is only available when the router operator in 3G router mode. Go to advanced operation mode to change the operation and the quick setup otherwise configure the router using the advanced settings. So again, okay, I'm going to close this page and can we can see that the operation mode is in wireless router mode and the networks we are not going to use the sim card so I'm going to the wireless network and the wireless settings. The name is here. The device name. I'm going to change the device name like CG C I N T one and the security mode. WBA the person is recommended we are going to use the same and this is the password this is the default password for this device so uh, let me enter the new password that's CGCI and T666 this is the password I have entered here whatever the password you want you can enter transmit power it's there is low transfer power middle and high and i choose let's high if you want to hide this device the uh, wi-fi name that the other person don't want to see this one we can hide this one and i am giving this option save and there is another option in this place this is 2.4 ghz and 5 ghz and after finishing this we'll see we'll, we'll wait pro we'll wait pro wait for some time to complete this process it will not take long time it's already finished and i'm selecting this 5g so 5g it's here and at present we are not going to use uh, 5g if you want we can keep it same 5g and at present we are not going to use the 5g or if, if anybody want you can keep for 5g different name uh, over here and you can change the password over here
at present I am not using the 5G so I have select this hide SSID so the other person don't want to see the name which is showing like 5G and I am going to save here <coughs> so just save <coughs> this is web option my filtering <coughs> So this is the map filtering <coughs> which the person we can filter <coughs> for the filtering purpose you can enter the device map filter number and uh, Wi-Fi it's a schedule <coughs> and this is statics and advanced settings intervals threshold and everything is here and these are about the virus uh, virus <coughs> sorry sorry my throat is little let me see some like and it's not clear the voice sorry for that and parent control you can you can control the uh, what we see network uh, net, not it's network the sites like a YouTube's and uh, other some things you can block over here and uh, this is a bandwidth controller and security this is an access, access control Black, blacklist and whitelist the same like my filtering as I said before and in this time setting backup restore system logo and firmware statics there are more uh, options this is the old password we are going to change the modern password the old password is admin and the new password i'm going to enter it's up to you whatever the password you want you can just enter here and save so when when next time when you are logging the username password will be what you are enter at present this that will be the username password this is what and uh, cwmp settings we are not going to do this is ACS username and ACS password if you want to change over here you can change over here interface by tr069 this is belong to my like um, any uh, any local area networks which we are using connection request for authentication and here here it's the same admin admin and we are not going to change over here anything <coughs> and this same and these are all about the settings and if we are using this sim card the option is different the operation is different with the settings changing there uh, but changing the Wi-Fi name and the password is the same <coughs> when you connect to the SIM card you can see whether the SIM card is connected or not connected like that and if you have anybody any queries you can just text me on the command thank you for watching my video please subscribe my channel if you have any doubts you can query if you have any queries any doubts you can just both are same sorry and you can enter in the comment box whatever it is if it's good or bad, then bye-bye, see you.